Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video and a brand new episode and today is our Friday night update woohoo it's the third week in a row we've actually remembered to do it so I've just got off my Xbox because my dad came up and to, to remind me Drew we need to record the Friday night up, uh, update it would be a real shame to only be two weeks in and fail on the third week so we're here today in my in our greenhouse this is what we're going to start off with and you would remember in last night no, last uh in in tomorrow like tomorrow uh, no tomorrow's update um in to in um the last um the last video do you like the last upload that i did onto youtube and it was um to clear it so we were clearing the greenhouse and it looked a lot tidier than what it is now but we had to move we remembered that you would remember in the beginning of the episode we moved a lot of things outside so we had to move all of that back inside and it's looking a bit crowded again and i said the and i said that we still might move the pots as well and i think we've decided that we are going to do that um the first thing i want to mention gardening wise um is that with the the tomato um plants are getting a lot bigger you can see there's a lot more leaves on that one as well i'm not too sure whether we flowers uh yeah flowers sorry we're trying to do this without edit any editing so if i get something wrong we're just gonna work around it sort of thing um as well i'm just gonna take the camera quickly because i want to show you some brussels sprouts give me a sec right so and you can see uh, the, here that we've actually, this is what we planted in the Brussels sprout, well, yeah, the Brussels sprouts and planting out some um, um, spring onion, yes, no, yes, yeah, spring onions. Um, so we've got some Brussels sprouts coming up and we've got some um, we've got some more flowers on our melons and we're gonna be putting a more permanent solution up for the melons this weekend i'm gonna oh and we've actually got a flower i'm gonna try see whether i can get that to you guys but yeah you can see we've got a few little flower buds on our um uh on our pepper i'm gonna hand well you can see there's a big flower there and um so i'm gonna pass the phone back to my dad now right <sighs> normally we'd have, we would have stopped that and then pass it back over but we're trying to do no editing um so yeah we're gonna move the pots at some point and as i said we're gonna put, put a more permanent solution up for our um melons but uh quite an exciting watering news uh, oh yeah, before, before I actually tell you the exciting um, news about watering, um, you can see our, um, our you know, so we picked up off some suckers off our tomato, uh, our, our free tomato plants, and we saved six and we have planted them and they are getting bigger. So to the watering news, my dad has actually got a more permanent solution for the greenhouse and the garden. And he's where well, we're just going to pause the video and then he's going to inform me and then we'll be back and I can tell you more. So um, is this is going to be quite a mouthful to say all of this. Um, so we so yeah, the more permanent solution is basically my dad's got something coming for delivery tomorrow, which we might get around to at the weekend to do. Basically, you attach your hose to your like your outside tap, um, then you so you can link it off. So there's like dividers, I think they're like sort of divided that sort of. So if you have like a fork in the road, there's two directions, and basically that's what it will do. You attach one bit to one, so you attach a bit of hose to that bit, and basically it means that we can have it in our greenhouse, and we can water our greenhouse without having to manually do it. And it means we can have um, different spots to the garden being watered. And um, the main reason we are doing this is because next year we're hopefully going on holiday. It was cancelled this year due to COVID-19. Hopefully by next year this will all be sorted and we can go away on holiday. And we're going to America and we're going away for three weeks, pro uh, two to three weeks. Um, so it's good. So it'll be quite a long time if we weren't watering. So this is our main motive. So n not all of our plants die, and um, 
and sort of and we can keep the channel going on the, into next year basically if 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 we get uh, if we get enough support and we feel like it sort of uh, we can do it again but i think we can so um and it just means that we can do do continue the channel on into next year and this also means that we can't um the veg doesn't die and if we're like if we were to just do it for video purposes um all, all our hard work would sort of be wasted so um this will be a really easy way but that's about it for the greenhouse um oh i think our compost might start but starting or like our stuff that we're make, using to make our compost might be decomposing but i think that's it for the greenhouse let's go outside and give you some update on some flowers and um i think there's a lily that i want to show you but more about that in a minute so we're out of the greenhouse now it's a little bit chilly considering i've got a shorts and t-shirt on it's because i've been inside all day um but you can see our potatoes are getting absolutely massive now and we've actually run out of room in the bag to keep on topping them up with hay. So we're waiting for the flowers to come and then we wait about uh, th uh, three weeks, I yeah, three weeks. And um, so yeah, so we wait three weeks and then we, and then we should be able to harvest some potatoes. So we've got two types of potato bags for any of you that didn't see our, well, like, I'll put, potato series i'm gonna call it our potato series because we did about uh, like three to four episodes on them so we have two different types of bags we have the black bags with the what well, the black bags um the like the sort of the, yeah potato bags with the flaps and then we have just compost bags that we've used um so that one's a little bit smaller than the rest of them oh, it might just be because the bags were getting to be fair um but so you our our, our tree a little our little like tree hedge type thing is looking a bit surrounded there um it's quite surrounded in but um uh well let's go and talk about something we'll go talk about something oh yeah our fruit tree so just so um so not last episode the episode before we did a sort of another little test so we've done two tests and one was with the red cabbage and one was with this method and this method was basically we saw we used the exact same method but we used a yellow bit of paper to determine what the ph level was and if it was anything over to like a, like a four to five uh, like a four and a half to five pH level, then we were gonna add some uh, sulfur to lower the pH level, and we've done that because it was about an eight. So we've done that, and you can see. So these are like the little, these are the little pellets here, like here, and you can see some of them have started to crush. Um, so hopefully that will bring the blue, uh, the level of the ericaceous soil down to more of an acidic um, pH level. And this will hopefully mean that we get some blueberries next year. I don't think we'll get any this year because the pH level has just been totally off. And I've just been reminded by my dad that um, you're probably not going to get a lot of growth out of them this year. They'll, you probably, you won't, you'll probably only get maybe not even a whole bunch. Um, but as they mature and get older, you get more and more every single year. So this is some more of our potato bags. I think we went a little bit mental potentially on the potatoes, but um, to our passion flower now, and they look really weird. You can you'd be thinking, Drew, why they why do they look so weird? They are definitely weird. Um, but so that's doing really well. That's been flowering for I'd I'd almost be half tempted to say for about three weeks now. Um, so and so if you just swim round, um. We've actually got some more, we've got uh, another like colour of lily, so we've got pink, white, yellow and uh, orange, there's another orange one coming through, and I'm pretty sure we have a red one, I'll show you that in a minute. So, um, so down here the grass is getting a little bit chaotic and it is up, uh, up the other level. But the upper level we don't really care about because hopefully this weekend our big project is going to start, it's going to commence. Basically that is to cover it all in cardboard, uh, well most of it in cardboard, a little bit of compost, a little bit of bark shippings and create a nice um, sort of walkway. But we're going to try to find time to mow down here this weekend. But up there is where the, where the pollinators are going to love for the moment until we kill off all the grass. 
So these are some more lilies. Um, they're a little bit different. Um, but and then next to us we've got some sweet peas. And I actually thought when I was younger, sweet peas were a veg because like peas, obviously. And um, we've got a we've got. Speaking of peas, oh, you can see a bee there. He's just gone round the back. We won't disturb him too much. He's uh he's busy pollinating. Oh, the sun has just come round out of the clouds. Uh, but on the, uh, on the subject of peas, you actually got a monstu um little monstu pods, and our runner beans are like vining up. So um yeah, so yeah, as I said, there's actually another lily to show you guys. We've got some more sweet peas. Uh, we've got some more sweet peas here. But there's there's actually um some more that that was the lily that I was talking to you about. It's a red. A, we've got red and orange one there. Um, so you can see, I've mentioned this quite a few times in these updates, but um, we got round it about two weeks ago to um, cutting that hedge back, and it's it's not it's not grown massively. Um, so let's go up to our veg patch. So my dad is gonna pick a cool jet, and we're gonna have some in our dinner tonight. So we're gonna pick more. But we haven't really got too much left on our videoing at time, so we're trying. So we're just going to limit it. But that is the cool jet. So our first lot of carrots are getting quite big, and you can see the ones that we sowed where our volunteer parsnip was. Uh, they're starting to come through now. Um, so we've got some lettuce. We've got our nasturtium flowers there. Um, so in soon our lettuce won't be. We won't be able to eat because it will be all gone. But we're gonna make the most of it while we can. So what we what we've been trying to do with our carrots is sow them about every three weeks, and I think that was uh, we might sow uh, one more little square of carrots actually. Um, so when do we? I think we're gonna plant them next week probably or this week. I'm not too sure how long it's been. I can't really remember. Um, but so behind us, uh, we've got some quite exciting news with our cucumbers. If you'd like to follow me, Dad. We actually have a flower now. Where is it? Ah, it's here. So it's not very big, but it is a flower. And then there's one. You can see one at the back. Um, there is quite. It's getting quite big. Um, so we thought there was actually a, a squash flower, but it's actually just a. Uh, it looks like some more leaves coming through. Um. So you can, you and also you'd be able to see these. And this was in our companion planting episode. We planted some marigolds, and this just keeps away any sort, any like flies and insects that want to eat them. Um, so you can see our herbs at the back as well. So you can you can see from here that our runner beans are getting like they're 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 running up the canes so here's the runner beans close up and you can see they're running up the cane sorry that was a really bad joke um so yeah and there's the flowers and i just want to show you the monstu um there's look there's one there and there's probably a few other around a few others around uh yet yeah, there wow that's a really big one we could probably start picking these soon i think um so we've got a lot of leeks and spring onions um so maybe soon we can actually pick the so we've uh, we think we found a volunteer carrot and i think that's uh, once all the nasturtions die back we're gonna be picking that because we can't really get to it at the moment we can't pick around like we did the parsnip so you can see here there's a little bit of our volunteer carrot is it an hour but it's been swamped by our nasturtions and also our um Lettuce is also being swamped by the carrots. Our beetroot is getting big. I can show you guys a quick little example. Um, so here you can see we've actually starting to get a bulb, um, or not a bulb, um, like a little bit of a beetroot showing. So it looks like there's a red strawberry coming through. Um, so we're not going to get many this year. So, because we're actually limited to 15 uh, minutes per video until we get more subscribers, um, well, you guys can actually help that. You can you can subscribe, and we can get longer videos out to you. But so, so um, but that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and as always, slam that notification bell so you're notified when I upload my brand new videos. And if you like some, if you like videos, there is two videos popping up right now. One is the 
the spraying or with the Nemo or the neem oil, and one is the making the two, the part one of the bed making for our strawberries. Bye, guys.